Good evening and welcome. The hymns for this evening are from the Catholic Book of Worship 3. They're indicated on the hymn board. Our opening song, you'll find the words in your pew. The, it is, We Three Kings. So please join our gathering song, We Three Kings. In the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, poured among us, the love of the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we gather in this wonderful solemnity, the epiphany of the Lord, we are very uh, mindful of what God wants to reveal to us. Let our hearts be stirred by the imagination of what led the Magi to the manger. Let our hearts be set in the right direction, bringing us closer to God. We pause in the depth of our heart, uh, acknowledging our sin, our need of change, and we seek the mercy of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life.
let us pray. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we who know you already by faith may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. For darkness shall cover the earth, and thick darkness the peoples. But the Lord will arise upon you, and his glory will appear over you. Nations shall come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look around. They all gather together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from far away, and your daughters shall be carried on their nurses' arms. Then you shall see and be radiant. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice because the abundance of the sea shall be brought to you. The wealth of the nations shall come to you. A multitude of camels shall cover you. The young camel, camels of Midian and Ephah, all those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and frankincense and shall proclaim the praise of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to God. be to God.
Second reading tonight is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, surely you have already heard of the commission of God's grace that was given me for you and how the mystery was made known to me by revelation. In former generations, this mystery was not made known to humankind, and as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That is, the Gentiles have become fellow heirs, members of the same body, and shares in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you. A reading from a holy gospel according to Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all of Jerusalem with him. And calling together the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means the least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come your ruler, who is the shepherd, my people, Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me words so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they heard the king, they set out. And there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, till it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. And on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then opening their treasure chest, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. You've likely had the experience of being with friends or company, and um, the very thing that you're discussing becomes a almost universal. Um, whatever they're speaking about, you re it resonates with you automatically, and I, I think perhaps that's the what we we all have that common sort of sense when when with their we're with a newborn baby, you know. Uh, it's just wonderful to, to see a newborn baby fast asleep. Uh, we, we all um, 
see the children or the, the grandparents wanting to, to take a look. Or sometimes we'll, we'll see a, a mom nursing her baby and there's something uh, euphoric on that baby's face. It comes over them that they're not only just bonding with their mother, but they're also receiving the nutrients, but they're receiving life and the, the warmth that's exuding. And um, it's um, it'd be beautiful uh, to, to behold. And when it comes time for that, you, you know, sometimes you're holding a baby, and then you, you, you get this aroma. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you've had the feeling, <laughs> the sense. And, and then you say, oh, uh, here you go. <laughs> we, we find ourselves a little more um, drawn away. And uh, we know what needs to be done, and who best to do it but either mom or, or dad. Or maybe those crying moments, and you, you, you're just holding the baby, and the baby's sound asleep, and then all of a sudden the baby's just looking uh, for somebody else, and uh, we, we find ourselves looking toward another, and, and rightly so. All throughout Christmas, we've come to adore baby Jesus in the manger. And I, I think there's um, a, a need, uh, an insatiable appetite within all of us uh, for more time uh, spent with the Lord. Adoration can be so comforting for us, it becomes an oasis. Adoration becomes a, a, a time for us to withdraw from the busyness of the world and uh, surround ourselves in, in the silence and the, in the peace of, of adoration, where we can reflect and we can contemplate. Not, not so that we can be more content with ourselves, but so that we're ready for what comes next. Now, we can't think for a moment that baby Jesus remains silent. Absolutely not. The baby Jesus is ready to manifest, to show forth, to reveal, to, to epiphanize. And that wonderful revelation is meant to change hearts. Herod, upon hearing the good news, is very disturbed. Indeed, he's frightened. And he conjectures a plan. He feels threatened, we would say. This news means change for him. For a king is announced. On the other hand, the Magi, uh, not of Jewish extraction, come from the east to see. Uh, they're not Jewish. They um, are from the east. And they've been reading and they uh, look to the star. They want to come and see and adore the king who would gather together all the nations. And they, of course, bring gifts to the newborn king, gold, frankincense, and, and myrrh. If we were to ask ourselves, well, where do I see myself tonight in this story? We have to admit that the star signifies that Christ is for all of us. Christ the King comes for each and every one of us to gather us together. And we might have that sense with inside of us of that urge to come to adore. And maybe we're sensing um, some of what God wants to change in our, our life. But perhaps beyond that, we're starting to see how we can make ourselves a gift to God. And then there's another part of me, perhaps like Herod, who does not want change. And I think we can all identify. And so the question becomes, how can I be more like the Magi? How can I move away from the thinking of Herod that somehow thinking that Jesus is a threat. Why in the world would I be frightened 
by the Incarnation. God comes among us as a king to rule, as a warrior to fight for us, as one who wants to be befriended, as one who wants to redeem and save, but also as one who reveals the love of the Father. Jesus reveals the love of the Father. Does God expect a gift from us, we might ask? Well, yes. God is a gift to us, and, and we are to give ourselves to God. I think that's the, the beauty of what we see in the Epiphany. It's the beauty of what we see also take place on the altar. This is my body uh, given up for you. If we imitate what we see, if we adore what we love, we become the star that leads others to the love of the Father. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, holy Catholic Church, communion of saints, forgiveness of sins, resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Tonight we rejoice in the saving power of our God, revealed in Christ to the nations. We offer our gift of prayer for the mission of the Church, to herald the good news to all, for peace for all in this world. For the church, light of revelation to the nations, for the rich diversity of people who reveal God's many gifts, come, Lord, and show us your glory. Come, come Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus come. come. Come, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, come. For the catechumens of the church and all preparing for confirmation, for those seeking a deeper relationship with Christ through the church, come, Lord, and show us your glory. Come, come Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus come. come. Come, Lord Jesus, come. For all people of humble heart who reflect God's goodness to others or search for God, for nations clouded by ethnic and racial prejudice, come, Lord, and show us your glory. Come, come Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, come. Come, come Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, come. For those seeking employment, housing, or safety, and those facing difficulties. For the sick, the recovering, and homebound. For the safety for all those who are traveling. Come, Lord, and show us your glory. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Come, Lord Jesus, come. For all who have fallen asleep in the faith recently, and for the spiritual and physical well-being of all parishioners. In memory of Gary Uniac, come, Lord, and show us your glory. Come, Lord, come, Lord Jesus, Jesus, come. Come, come Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, come. Lord God of all nations, let the radiance of your incarnate word pierce the darkness that covers the earth. That the revelation of your love may signal the dawn of peace and justice and beckon all nations to walk as one in your light. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for there is no glory this way, for our good never falls with the church. Except we pray, O Lord, our offerings in honor of the appearing of your only begotten Son, that the first fruits of the nations uh, to you praise may be rendered, eternal salvation be ours. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for tonight you reveal the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made him new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so the angels, archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rise of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration. They may become body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, to be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial, the saving passion of your Son, 
his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. He make of us an eternal offering to you so we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Francis, and with all the saints on his constant intercession, your presence, but we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you gain for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the inner to the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and for my divine teaching we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Peace, O Lord, with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not with you, you should enter into my roof. Only say the word, and my, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Go before us with heavy light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. So sing on the city of the Lord. May God, who has called you out of darkness into his wonderful light, pour out his kindness, his blessing upon you, and make your hearts firm in faith, hope, and charity. Amen. And since in all confidence you follow Christ, who today appeared in the world as a light shining in darkness, may God make you too a light for your brothers and sisters. Amen. And so when your pilgrimage is ended, you may come to him whom the Magi sought as they followed the star, and whom they found with great joy, light from light, who is Christ the Lord, Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, the power of God, Trust in to help Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave. Thank you.